lost. <laughs> Tastes like your feet. Welcome back to The Last of Us Reactions. As you can see, the hot one has gone. It's just us uglies left. I tried to lean into the hot, but I couldn't do it. I think you're looking pretty sexy today. Thank if you. I, if I do say so myself, yeah. you should support yourself more. I think you look fire. Thank you. And ladies, ask for days right here. Uh, unfortunately, Zach can't make it. We, unfortunately, all three of us have full-time jobs. Could you believe it? It is quite terrible. I hate participating in the American economy, and fortunately with my job, I'm actually participating in it quite a bit. We're back with The Last of Us, even if all of us couldn't make it, we're gonna persevere, we're gonna finish this. It's only eight episodes, and I'm sorry it's been so long since the last one, especially for you full-timers and Patreon addicts. And hey, it's not like you're used to getting videos really quickly, so, I mean, you know, you guys are, are... I'd say you're used to the abuse at this point. You're in there for the long haul, and we thank you for that. Because when we're huge, like, you've been there. That's true. It is going to happen, no matter what. A hundred percent. Eventually get huge. <laughs> we will forget you, of course, it, but we thank you now. <laughs> Once we get Ian guys... Hecox from Smosh on here, you know we've made it. Interesting. You're I want to get. I want to get. I, I want to get interviewed by Anthony Padilla. He right. Does, he does those interviews. Now. Right. I, I, yeah. He's a got day in the life us. of positive ET. <laughs> it's like, man, the people in the comments are really mean. <laughs> <laughs> and for those people that said we talk too much, you know, again, like we're we're trying. You know, it's a process. Pretty tame, even. Yeah. True. Nobody's called me a. F Yet, so I, I suppose I should be thankful. You might have to bleep that. YouTube is not gonna like that. Say it like an indie girl. Oh, <laughs> Nobody's called me that yet. So. <laughs> Am I gonna get called that like by association? Oh no. Oh god. My worst nightmare is a straight man. <laughs> An insult to your masculinity, even though it has nothing to do with sexuality. If you want to check us out further, you can go to patreon.com slash tv underscore wins. Mm -hmm. um, there you can get full-time reactions, and they come early, if you can believe it, uh, earlier than they come out on uh, YouTube anyway. <laughs> so if you're like, okay, I feel like I've been waiting for three months. If you want to wait for one month, go to Patreon. <laughs> Um, and also you can vote what we see, uh, if you comment anything below, of course, we'll take it into consideration, but if you're on the Patreon and you say that you want us to do something, we will do it for you immediately, and perhaps if somebody on the Patreon asks for something, maybe it'll be a Patreon exclusive, only full-time reaction. Mm. I don't know, we haven't encountered that yet. Right. So, yeah. if you do that, you might get a huge privilege of videos basically made just for you. Yep. Which would be pretty awesome. Unless it's a show we've seen already then reacting to it doesn't really make sense right but, yeah. yes of course yes yeah. but either way we haven't seen the last of us uh last time on we met joel yes his daughter died and he's not doing so well got shot by that soldier got shot like, by a yes, soldier sir. like all right yeah huge thumbs down soldiers are so hilarious in media they're always like i was just following orders that other like, soldier yeah. in the episode was so fascinating too at the end where he is literally buying drugs off of joel but the line that Joel has crossed is him just going outside of the border. Really? That's too far. He can that's get infected. That's where you're going to take a stand? The point was that they're or enforcing, like, rules like that just to, like, keep people under control, I guess. There's no excuse for fascism. Never. Even in the zombie apocalypse. Nope. Walking Dead Season 1 taught us that. We met Tess, Joel's girlfriend. Yes, they actually are girlfriend-boyfriend. Yeah, they're I believe dating. They, they, she, he was spooned. Have they kissed? No, but they spooned. Tess is big spoon. They're not married of yet. Of course. Yeah. And when they were going to get a car battery back from some guy who That's... ripped them off, <laughs> they go to see him, and he's dead. Turns out he had a shootout with the Fireflies. Yeah. A couple of them. Uh, who are carrying this mysterious girl. Mm. And she's got a mouth on her. <laughs> they need to take her to a secure location, and they have Joel and Tess do it since they're well-known smugglers. Yep. Marlena was injured, as well as her right hand, who lost her ear. Gross. And so they decide to go see someone named Frank and Bill, for equipment before they leave 
Uh, apparently they play different types of songs depending on the danger level before yeah. they come see them, but the radio wasn't particularly working, so they just left, and then the radio magically started working again. Playing 80s music. Playing 80s music, which means shit about to go bad. We learned that, of course, Ellie is has been bitten, and it is like a two-week-old bite. It's healed over completely, and Showing she's no No signs of turning. No signs of turning. Mysterious. What's going on there? <laughs> It'll probably just show up later. <laughs> I don't think it's going to come up again, really. I don't no? think it's that important. No. Oh. Where they do walkbacks. Oh. Where they're like, I want to take back something I said That's this smart. episode. So, yeah, you want to include the walkbacks? So, just for last time, because we didn't do that, I want to walk back at, like... Or just, like, tone down my talk about what was in the game versus what wasn't in the game. Because, uh -huh. honestly, I don't even know the game that well. I played it so long ago. Right. Like, I, it came with my PS4. <laughs> so, 2014, I played it. The, like, a, a lot of people in the comments pointed out, it's not supposed to be the same thing. And I didn't mean to... Of course, yeah. ...make it seem like I, I thought I... Uh, like, I wanted it to be. Yeah. I, I definitely don't think it will be um, that similar. Mm -hmm. And I like that. Yeah. Of course. Good walk back. Yes. Um, I don't think I have any, any walk backs. <laughs> I was pretty proud of my performance. Yes. Last time we watched this, we were on HBO Max. Isn't that fascinating? Now we're on just Max. Alright. Ooh, before times. What? What's happening? This old lady has clearly violated the law. Ma'am, are you eating salad? <laughs> There's no talking. Oh, I was about to say, are they just avoiding speaking Indonesian? But... <laughs> Thank you for actually having them speak Indonesian and not speak uh, in English with British accents. <laughs> yeah, Luna agrees. Okay. Apa bapak tidak salah orang? Anda Bu Ratna. Profesor Mitologi. Universitas Indonesia. Okay. Okay. Kita memiliki orang. So they need her for something. My, Did they discover mycology, the... that's, fun that's fungus, so... Oh, yeah. Mushrooms. This is 2003, too, so it's the same year. Okay, I thought she was in trouble. <laughs> nope, they're just like, we need you, whether you like it or not. Yeah, I should have clued in when they apologized about interrupting her lunch. They're walking so fast. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, hold on. <laughs> Oh my god. Cool. Ugh, I knew it. <laughs> it's a little freaky. <laughs> Look at it growing. Yeah. It grows so fast. I wonder what that tastes like for the actor. <laughs> There's no way that was an actor lying on the table. No? It was definitely a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh boy. That's good. What would the medicine be exactly, right? Like, you, all you could do is, like, I don't know, pour bleach in there to kill all the mushrooms, but that obviously also killed the human. Jesus. Yeah, there is no medicine, but how about you uh, come up with one? <laughs> is, she, is she suggesting that she gets bombed with them? Probably. Jeez. Whew. She just knows, like, how shitty that would be, like, an apocalypse with cordyceps. <laughs> right. I forget, does cutting off limbs early enough in this one work? I have no idea. No idea. I'd like to see that explored. If you can get to it before the cordyceps spreads, like, beyond that, maybe. Because what does the bite even do? Gets the cordyceps in you, I guess, right? Yeah, but then why is Ellie just immune to them? Gen There's gotta be something. Who knows? Gen something in her DNA. Yeah. Ellie's live reaction to that information. He's holding a gun. Hey guys, morning. 
girl, guys, she's like 14. Well, they don't know that she's immune necessarily. Oh yeah, I guess they're they're just being careful in case she turns. Really. Do I look like I'm infected? True as your own. Yeah, it's not getting any worse, is it? <coughs> Test you how? I have to pee. Test you how? Pee? Yeah, pee. <laughs> oh. My hand and then keep the thing. I think the leaning person was the fact that I didn't turn it into a fucking monster. <laughs> Oh yeah, remember when they had her counter the one, two, three, four, five, slowly. <laughs> one. Well better then than us. You need to stop talking about this kid like she's got some kind of life in front of her. Joel. Joel, come on. That's all you want. You want your daughter to have a future in front of her. Is it chicken? Or at least they get it from smugglers. Guess not you guys. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> bitch! That's hilarious. They're working on a cure. Mm -hmm. I've heard this before. And whatever happened to me is, is the, the key, key to, to find finding it. the vaccine. That's what this is. We've heard this a million times. Vaccines, miracle cures. Isn't his brother like into that kind of stuff? You and me both. Tommy is like out there like looking for shit that Joel is like not hopeful for, or something mm. like that. Well, it's a risk. So. And I think my interpretation of why Joel is so reluctant, I don't. <laughs> uh, he just wanted to be heard again <laughs> well I mean kinda but also I think she reminds him a lot of his daughter and it's really hard for him to be around her even though it's like 20 years later yeah I mean wound's still that, fresh that wound's never healed yeah wound's still fresh and <laughs> it's, he's gun? clearly trying to like distract himself like with like drugs and alcohol and all that stuff so yeah you know Especially like why he's so refu he's refusing to believe that the the bite is is not gonna work that she's immune that yeah. she's immune because he's like I don't want to fall for this false hope and then just have her turn because it'll break my fucking heart and I really don't need that right now yeah so you know he's, yeah I guess reluctance he's being he's being logical actually in his own way how did that building just like fall over i guess just through the years of no with without any maintenance and it just never got to ah, there you go they, they bombed oh, okay cities like this they had to slow the spread <laughs> yeah forgot about the bombing it looked here but it didn't in most places oh. oh it's almost like genocide is never the answer well here it worked <laughs> great cool I mean, through odds, I guess you'll get a success in there somewhere, but, like, when she was, like, bombed the whole city, I was like, what, and what if you don't kill the infected person and then you just killed everyone? You know the old mall in the QZ? The one that's sealed off and boarded up and no one's supposed to go in, ever, that one? Whatever, I snuck in. With your girlfriend, right? I wanted to see what it was like. Something. So there aren't super infected that explode fungus spores on you? Shit, I hope not. Or ones with split open heads that see in the dark like bats? That's true, isn't it? That part is kind of true, yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> They're like, well. Uh oh, water location. Gotta get that wooden pallet out so you can row Ellie around. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Would you like me to check your luggage? Yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. You're I'm a weird kid. You're a weird kid. You're a weird oh. kid. <laughs> You're a weird kid. I, uh, <laughs> I was waiting for that scene to turn. <laughs> Not fun anymore. Yeah. No, they're dead. <laughs> Every time there's a really good, like, happy scene, get suspicious in a zombie show. Right. It's so suspicious. <laughs> and open it from the inside? Uh, no, well, I'm the smallest, so it'd be easier for me to get through. You, but you die and you get nothing. You stay. No. I don't like that. Tess will be fine. Her death will be way more cinematic than this. Don't worry. Because we know what she's if, dying. What if she gets... <laughs> what if she gets bit? See, so he like, won't even look at her. So you like Barbie? Or, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you like Power Rangers? <laughs> Where'd you learn to do that? The circus. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> she is so weird. What is <laughs> the circus? You remember his daughter had like a knife in her drawer? No, I don't. You don't remember that? Before they left for school, she like put a knife away in her drawer. Hmm, I don't remember that. Is it dead? It's bone dry. Okay. Yeah. Could mean they're all finally dead in there. That'd be nice, but I doubt it. <clears throat> I want to see. We haven't seen them like fight any. Oh damn, tactical. Congratulations. Tess is going tactical, baby. I hate this already. <laughs> the dark corridors, flashlights, fungus growing all over the walls. You gotta give props to the set designers. Yeah, I mean, these sets are probably really hard to create. One thing I always really like about zombie shows is they always have really, like, um, vibrant set pieces. Like, um, like of course, they're, this is, like, really, like, detailed with, like, the cordyceps and mushrooms growing everywhere. But it's also, like, a museum, and they have, like, the gift shop and all this shit. Like, it's just fun. They always pick fun locations to show that are overgrown. Yeah. You know? uh, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> is it a bloater? Those ones can fuck you up real bad. Quiet. <laughs> Shit. Not quiet. Silent. Is that Thomas Jefferson? Tommy J. I down think on I recognize. Yeah. Sorry, from looking up at us from a below. Look to your right. Come on, it's Thomas Jefferson. He'll give you the strength. No. Tommy J knows how to beat the clickers. For real. Just use your slaves, Tommy J. I was gonna say, you know what else you need to do? Own <laughs> <Burn> slaves. <laughs> Ew! Guys, this reminds me so much of Fallout 4. <laughs> These dead bodies are horrific. They got like fungus growing out of the eyes. Just watching her stub so she has to step on another hand. Oh, that's actually really smart. Yeah. Ooh! Shit. Alright, well, nothing can follow you in there. Uh-oh. What if you have to cough? <laughs> <gasps> oh, God. Fucking clickers. <laughs> ah! Oh, shit, there's two. Fuck. Okay, maybe they do use like a little location because they found them and they did not make noise. Oh! Yeah, I didn't really know how to work. Fuck. That is crawling, that is not running! <laughs> oh man. Benjamin Franklin! Benny J! He can give the clickers syphilis. Benny J? That's wrong. Benny F. Yes, you are right, the syphilis. <laughs> this is a really good scene, it's super scary. I'm so tense. They're all fucking split up now. I feel like he's gonna show up like right next to him. <gasps> Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> hey, get out of here! <laughs> do they not like let- Oh no, they can't see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's just funny though, he pointed at it and went away. I mean, do they not like light? It seemed like- First of all, they grow underground, and remember when all those infected were in the street, when the sunlight passed over them, they all seemed to like be like, Aah! you know? Fuck it. <gasps> Fucking <gasps> shit. Fuck. Oh! Oh my god, they're so disgusting. They're so hard to kill. Ah! Thank you. Tess. Oh, it's stuck. 
Damn, how are they so resilient? <sighs> it's probably because you gotta, like, hit the human brain, and, like, the outside is all, like, hardened and fucking, like, deformed. Yeah, is that, like, a shield? Are they, like, shield on or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shield on. I already shit my pants. Nice! That's a good... That's a uh, good thing, then. Me? Did she get bit again? <laughs> She's hilarious. I mean, if it was gonna happen to one of us. Right? Going to the Capitol building. Gonna sign a new law. No zombies. <laughs> <laughs> That'll stop them. Tess. Come on. Tess. <laughs> Close the door and Joel. You're <laughs> right. That's so funny. Where did Marlene say that she was taking you? Ellie. Uh, I don't know. Just west. Just west. Just west. Just west. <laughs> <laughs> I have a map on them, right? So, can you help me? No. Tess, it's over. We are going home. It's not my fucking home! Yeah, jo it's not your home either, Joel. You live in Texas. What? Yeah. How did he get here? Did they just fucking drive? Yeah, are they gonna make a prequel, se <coughs> a prequel series about Joel? His journey to Boston? <laughs> I look at oh no! Uh, fuck. She's infected. Yeah, fuck. I knew it! I knew it was gonna happen at that stupid dark museum! <sighs> Oops is right. I, I never ask you for anything, not to feel the way I felt, <sighs> not to feel you shut the fuck up because I don't have time. This is your chance. Get her there. You keep her alive. And you set everything right. Oh shit, you did. Please say yes, Joel. Please. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay, yeah. It they was, all felt it. Was it. The spores, yeah. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. God, these guys are so OP. Maybe a minute. They're like the fucking flood. They're all connected. Oh, burn it down. Making sure that they don't follow you. Damn. Yeah, also see, so don't turn. Smart test. Good for you. Oh shit. Wow. Interesting. You know what else is interesting? Grenades. Say who you can say. Yeah, Joe, come on. But, like, save everyone, not just one person. No! We're not leaving her! Get off me, you I think you have to. Oh. Fucking turn on. Hey, over me. Okay, they're all getting after you, so. That didn't really work out. Hmm? Did this really not work? Why'd the zombie make out with her, though? That was kind of weird. <laughs> I really thought that wasn't going to work for a second. I was like, no. How did none get after them? Like, some of them got so far ahead. 
It's a long building. It's a pretty big building. I guess, but there's no way the gasoline got that far. <laughs> I guess it was a big enough well, explosion. Well, they just gotta keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I fucking knew it. I felt like, as soon as we entered that fucking museum and I saw all those places to hide, I was like, isn't this the scene where Tess gets bit? Mm. I feel like it is. And then I saw the Golden Capitol building and I was like, I'm gonna fucking shoot myself. Of course it is. What? How are we done already? The episode was like 30 minutes longer than this. The other one was like so much longer than this one. So this one felt like five seconds. Jesus. <laughs> Did you cry? Almost. I was yeah. really close. Yeah. I was getting teary eyed. Yeah. It just sucks because like... Joel didn't even want to do this. It was like Tess pushing him forward, and of course she has to fucking die. Yeah. Right, like at this pivotal moment where Joel's really having a crisis of faith. Um, but I mean, it did prove that Ellie is what she says she is. Yeah. That was a good episode. One fight like that. That was an incredible episode. Yeah. That was really good. They did so much justice to um, that character. Uh, cause she's really, I mean, like, we're in episode two, right? And she's dead. In the game, she was not in it for very long. Yeah. But she has a huge, the thing about this game is a lot of the characters aren't in it for very long. Except for Joel and, and Ellie. Ellie. And they still all have this really huge impact. Like, I remembered Tess, like, I never forgot Tess, you know? When, like, we saw her again, I was like, oh, I'm so excited to see how Tess is portrayed. Yeah. Even though she wasn't really in the game for that long. It's just really great characters, you know? I love talking about how uh, her admitting that her and Joel are not good people. Um, and I really, I'm just, I really like Tess. And I don't know this, this actress's name. I'm gonna look her up, actually, so that we can spread that around. But she did a really good job portraying Tess. I really liked what she made the character, because there was definitely more to her than the video game. I hardly so. remember her, no, it's all good. I hardly remember her from the game, but mm -hmm. she's doing, she did well here. I really liked this character, so. Yeah. I, I really liked, th they made her much harder in this one, I feel like. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed, uh, Anna Torv. Anna Torv. Have we seen her in anything? Yeah, hold on. Have we? Uh, she was in Fringe. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. We had an argument about Fringe earlier Is she today. Fringe? She might be Fringe. She's Olivia Dunham. Oh, she's Fringe! Okay, so she was the Fringe. She's Fringe and Fringe. <laughs> um, yeah. She was in Mindhunter, which I always wanted to watch, and then I got bored after the second episode. <laughs> and College Humor, of course. Um, All right. Well, I, I really liked how she portrayed this character. Uh, she felt like she had a lot more baggage on her in this version. Like, I really wish we could have had her around for a little bit longer, just so we could learn more about what her experience was going into the apocalypse, because... She's clearly not in a great place either. I want to know what she went through. Um, and it sucks because we, a lot of episode one, we followed her and she like really struggled. Yeah. <laughs> like she was just going through it. And uh, uh, you were, you ended up being right. I asked, I asked them to give Tess a break. I was like, maybe she'll die in episode like four. <laughs> and uh, you said no. Nope. Not happening. And she did not in fact get a break. So I liked the intro to this episode with that uh, professor from Jakarta. Yeah, that was interesting. I thought it was cool if they just brought it to another part of the earth entirely. I like all the science that they're including in like medical response, uh, and they're showing more of like the official government and like you know uh, different countries actually like their responding response to, to the, the virus it, yeah. because a lot of it is just well, like, it's the not world's... a virus. Or, yeah, the, the fungus. Because, like, the world's gone to shit in the game. It kind of just, like, happened, right? Um, and you're like, wow. So, you know that the soldiers were trying at the beginning, obviously, because they shoot your daughter. Yeah. But mm -hmm. um, you don't really know much about, like, how much did the government know? When did they know it? Did right. anybody try to stop it? What was the solution? Yeah. And um, it makes sense in The Last of Us for the infection to spread. 
Like, in something like The Walking Dead, where they're called The Walking Dead. They're so slow. Like, how does it spread so much? And in some ways, you can kind of get it. But, like, here, you definitely get it. Like, they're quick. And they're open. And they're fearsome. Yeah. It's really hard to be... That's the thing, is a lot of people will say... I think I could survive the Walking Dead apocalypse, but I don't think I could survive the Last of Us apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Just because there's so many... First of all, the Walking Dead is just bit, die, turn, or just die, turn. Or a bit, chop off limb, live. Yeah, it's like very (laughs) simple rules that you could probably guess really early on. In the Last of Us, the disease is airborne at times. It can be passed through things other than bites. The infected are not killed by a single shot to the head. There are multiple types of zombies. Yeah. They run. The like infected are connected like through the underground. If you yeah, if you wake one of them, you wake a lot of them nearby because it they all feel as one thing. Yeah. It is a terrifying level of evolution, really, and that's what they're trying to convey. Clearly, is they're like. This has been, like, brewing for so long, and it just reached just past the tipping point, and now it's a full-on disaster because humans are just not strong enough to beat this. We just aren't. We don't have the technology. Well, we'll see, right? Yeah, they're gonna make the the vaccine. Yeah. I wonder, um, how next episode's gonna be. 8.0, huh? Long, long time. That should be good. I wonder if anyone's made, like, a video essay about why that episode is rated so much lower right. than oh, the others. I-, I saw on your phone, but does this episode get a 10, Alex? Oh, yeah, it does. I already gave it one yeah. on IMDb. This one was really good. Yeah. Uh, the first episode actually didn't get a 10 from me. It didn't? No, it oh, did not. Okay. It was close, but yeah. it didn't quite get a 10. It was 10. a bit long. It was very long. Yeah. Um, but I think this episode was excellently paced. It felt like five seconds. Yeah. Lots of emotion. Um, lots of forward plot movement and the characters they're really deep diving into them and how they feel this time around about you know taking ellie and it was a lot more of a dilemma for joel i love ellie by the way she's so weird i love this this portrayal is incredible yeah she's like going like trudging through water and like pretending she's at a hotel she's like oh thank you ma'am i will take your bags ma'am i mean she is having fun like she is a kid even in like the worst circumstances she's gonna do like silly shit like that that's what i was thinking yeah i was always like oh she gets to have fun like as a kid for a little bit because she's in like this really fancy hotel yeah right um (laughs) <laughs> and yeah, I like, like it's so cool for her like for these guys it's like super depressing because like they know like what a hotel like actually was i mean she's read about it but she's never like lived in one right so it's sort of like luxurious for her like oh a hotel like i've read about but it's not like how they actually are like joel and and so, Tess were saying like that she was like have you guys ever been to one of these places and they were like no this too place, rich for my blood this place wasn't for <laughs> us yeah, yeah mm-hmm. like it's you know it's a little disenchanting yeah. when you realize that it was like you know maybe it's like cool now that everyone here is dead and underground but in real life they excluded poor people yeah <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it's really interesting the uh, perspective that ellie brings i mean it's probably why joel's so protective of her or will become super protective <laughs> of her because you know she's relatively innocent she does. She only knows this world. It's so. Di- you know what? I really love comparing this to, and I really haven't thought about this. Before, AJ, the Walking is Dead season AJ. four. He's so different than Ellie, and how like he responds to the apocalypse, and his apocalypse is so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not for him. He's like three <laughs> feet tall. Um, you get to fight zombies as him in that game, by the way, as like yeah. a three foot tall five year old. It's so great. Um, but it's, it's so fun. interesting that. Both of those characters were born during the apocalypse, so they have no knowledge of the world before. Yeah. But Ellie is a little bit more... I don't know. She's seen shit, definitely. Yeah. But she's more, like, cavalier, and um, she seems less phased by it, which I know definitely isn't true. It's maybe, like, humor is her way of deflecting from it and, like trying to distance herself from the seriousness of the situation. Mm -hmm. But the thing about AJ is that he is so, 
like, survivalist. He will, like, no matter what rules you tell him, he always adheres to them. He always has questions and, like, follow-ups. He yeah. always wants to be more careful than you do. Like, whereas Clem starts to let her guard down, like, AJ doesn't know how to do that, you know, like right. when they're in that kind of situation. So it's interesting that Ellie is, maybe, is so different. Maybe Ellie was like that when she was younger, because AJ's still learning, even if he, yeah. like, he's still like a very small child. I mean, she's a kid True. too, but the she's apocalypses a older. are different in this too. There's yeah. organized, like she went to school. She did. She went to school with other kids. There's organized by like Fedra and the Fireflies. Um, like there's factions and groups and stuff like that. AJ and Clem, as far as we know, pretty much from when he was taken from uh, the McCarroll Ranch to when we see them at the beginning of season four, just on the road by themselves. Yeah. So that would definitely affect how they're raised, where his only influence is Clementine. Yeah. And since they're on the road, they have to be super careful, stuff like that, you know? Yeah, he was, like, so badly socialized. Like, he was biting people. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, yeah. Uh, By the way, funny. if you want, if you really like, ha uh, like, how Ellie is, like, written and, like, the story of how kids in the apocalypse, I would really recommend going through the Walking Dead games series yeah. uh, even though it's not quite like the last of us game series in terms mm -hmm. of like gameplay um, it's really emotional and Clementine and AJ both of them are really great examples of like apocalypse kid characters yeah they're so fascinating to watch mm -hmm. grow up and like learn it's so interesting I would highly recommend it if you haven't already although I know many people have those I, I'm sure the overlap is huge between yeah. <laughs> Last of Us fans and Walking Dead fans for sure whether that's the show or the game and right? even like m m like a sh even if a lot of people haven't played season four shit ton of people have played season one yeah but if you never got to season four they kind of nailed it so I would say like please play the final season of it it's so good AJ is fantastic we love him yep um, um, but this episode was really great. Yeah, um, any walkbacks? Uh, any walkbacks? No, I was pretty tame this any episode. Any double downs? Any double downs? <laughs> Joel is hot. Yeah. <laughs> Tess is dead. Tess <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> double down on shit! Yeah. Oh, that oh, sucks. Yeah, yeah. No, we didn't make any, like, outrageous claims no, or anything I mean, this episode. We were pretty tame, I think. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't any, like people walking into dark buildings. No uh, one was really stupid this episode, <laughs> right? Like, no offense to Joel's daughter, but why did you go inside that house? Why did you walk in there? She the was... dog knew better. <laughs> she was silly. Yeah. But um, I really enjoyed this episode. And yeah, you're right. The characters in the show, it's interesting to, to see how smart they are and still how shit goes to shit, which really plays into how OP the zombies are. Yeah, like, you have to be, like, on your game. If you're even stupid for, like, a second, you're dead. They were completely quiet, and they still got caught. Yeah. Like, it's just how it happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, uh, here's my double down, or I guess just something I really liked, was when Joel f uh, shined a flashlight on that clicker, and he just turned away, like, get out of here! Yeah, <laughs> we should do that. At the, how about we do that at the end of the episode? One thing we liked, one thing we didn't like. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I liked, you liked that. Mm -hmm. I liked, um, I, oh, I, I forgot, I almost forgot to say this. I am going to compliment for my, like, the actors for the clickers. Good job. Excellent work. You were distorting your bodies in ways that I don't really think would be possible for a living creature, so <laughs> congrats. And you really had to do so many stunts. Like, they were jumping over the table and flipping <laughs> around and shit, so I really like the choreography of those fight scenes and uh, all the, the work that went into that. My didn't like was <laughs> when Tess made out with that infected. That was weird. I, it's what an was interesting going on there? choice. Like, I don't think she was consenting to that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you should have I, asked first. I'm also like, why didn't she just, like, take a step back? I guess it... I mean, yeah, it's easy for us to say, right? But yeah, if you're in that situation, your fight or flight goes and... And like, she's already and done, so maybe she just had, like, no desire to do either. Probably, right? Know? She's like, oh, what, what does it feel like to kiss an infected? And she got... <laughs> and she got the lighter working, so it's not like... Yeah. And the I infected was so kissed scared. her. She did not kiss him back. <laughs> Didn't like... Um... 
Yeah, what peeved you out a little? Anything peeved you out? I don't, I don't think so. Um, the fact that they killed off Tess so early, <laughs> that sucks. But it's, it's only not, eight episodes. It's not like that's a poorly written decision. It's just a decision she that got, I'm like, ugh. She got a quarter of the way through the season. Yeah. And left She went out with it with a bang, too. So. Yes. I don't... Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember that explosion happening in the game. Are you, you're, asked, you're talking to the wrong person about I that. IIRC, <laughs> I don't know if it was infected coming after them. It might have been. I don't know. I can't remember. Who else? Fedra? Yeah, I thought it was maybe humans that were coming after them. Because I remember her taking a gun and like having like a final stand moment rather than like a... Because that kissing moment definitely didn't happen. Anymore. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't think she blew herself up. I think she was shot by Fedra. Maybe this was uh, this was better though, because I loved the thing they did with the hive mind. I I don't think they really explored that in the game. I'm not sure. Yeah. Again, I played the game a long time ago, so correct me if I'm wrong. I might just be incorrect. Yeah. But I don't but, feel okay, like okay. Don't compare it to the game because it's more than just the game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this was a really fun episode. Check us out on Patreon.com/tv underscore wins if you want to see more. We will see you guys sooner than this one uh, took for the next episode. We won't be waiting as long. I promise. Um, <laughs> Said so that like every episode. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> and we will see you guys for the next one. Have a wonderful Thanks day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Peace.